Hi and welcome to my video here on using Google Drive and the G Suite apps within it to make planner inserts, stickers, dividers, dashboards and covers. It really is really versatile and best of all I have a resource library I will be sharing with you that I've created over the last two years. Um, I'll be sure to put the link in the description box below. So I've done most of the hard work, you can just use a template or you can start from scratch if you wish. Um, so um, I'll just show you some basic stuff and try and be quick. Um, and the best thing is the files made within the G, um, the files made by the G Suite apps do not count towards your Google Drive storage. So you can make as many as you like and not have to worry about using up your storage as well. So um, I'll show you uh, some examples of things you can make. Here's a dashboard here. Here's some uh, a cover. That I actually made for my Erin Condren, that's on my Erin Condren that I had a couple of years ago. You can make stickers and completely customise it to how you want. So this one here is designed on Blogger. Um, you can make your own inserts. And best of all, you can completely customise it. Just because you have it, some people want it one way, doesn't mean you want it that way. You can change the colours. At the bottom I have a meal plan right here, you might not want that, you might want a number of steps you've done in the day or um, your workouts or um, what page you're on on a book, things like that. So let's just um, dive in and let's have a look and see what we can do. So like I said, I'm just going to cover some basic tools and um, best thing to do really is just have a play with it and get used to it for yourself. So here we've got text box, pretty self-explanatory. And up here you do have the ability to change the fill colour, the border colour, the border weight and the border dash as well if you wanted to. Image is pretty straightforward, you can just click and drag an image and it'll put it into the document for you. This is the one you'll probably use the most, making shapes. So you can do header change the fill oops transparent like so you can also click view zoom in say I want it 200% because I want to get it just right and as you can see those little red lines come up to say that it's snapped to grid. So you have to, if you want to be precise, you've got to it is a bit of fiddling sometimes. There you go. So that's all done. Let's make this text box a bit smaller. We've also got lines here so if you hold down the shift key it'll keep a straight line otherwise you could just do it freehand and might not get it exactly. That is definitely not straight. As you can see not straight but if you hold the shift key down It'll snap and keep it straight for you. That's normal. There is like arrows and polylines and things like that if you want to get a bit more into it. You can change the font. So here's the ones I've already got loaded onto my Google Drive, but you can add more fonts. Pick which ones you want, add it to your fonts there. change the text colour and you can also change how it's aligned within the text box so you can have it left centered or right just uh, and uh, right aligned and justified you can have it at the top of the box in the middle of the box or at the bottom of the box it's entirely up to you and also you can actually do it with um, 
shapes as well. All you have to do is double click on the shape to add your text. I want to do a nice header, centered, centered, and we'll change it to cookie. And then we have, if I hold down the shift key, I can change this. This has, this changes the look of the shape, same with shapes. We've got a rounded rectangle here. So this changes the radius of it, like so. We can change the border width. on the border on that one and to change the colour you have all these to pick from but at the bottom you also have custom colours you'll see I already have some on there I will show you that in a minute as long as you've got the hex code which is usually six these six here but these two are at the end because you that's the transparency which you can adjust here if you wanted to have the shape a bit see-through, see something behind it. Um, I actually have a colour theme here. So when I see some colours I like, I can pick the colour out. There's actually a really cool uh, Chrome add-on called Colorzilla. Which if there's something... So um, I'll go colour pick from page. And because it's a bit out, I'll just do this one. And it comes up with a hex, co hex code. And then I'll just go copy to clipboard and I want that hex code there. Go back to here. Click on custom. Just highlight the lot of it and paste it. And it will do automatically put the FF in there for me. And uh, so that's done for me. So that's a really, really cool one to have. But what I do is I put the, the themes all together. And then what I do is I just copy. So we'll highlight them all up. Command C or Control C on a PC. And then I just paste them in. But then I put them off of the document. So you're not... It's not on the document. It's like just off so if you print it and you forget then it's fine but then you have all these to play with which is always fun there you go so it's just little things like that it's quite fun and cool to play around with um we also have where is it word art so type in here but you must hold down the shift key because it keeps the the proportion correct because otherwise you're going to be stretching it and it does not look good so I'll click undo for that um there are different ways you can set up your sheet uh, your page as well one of the things to note is if when you you go to file page setup and so it's set up as an A5 page at the moment, but if I want to change that to, say, an American size, which is 8.5 by 11, as soon as I hit that OK, everything on the page will change. So everything, as you can see, the star here is kind of squished, and it just doesn't look good. So what I suggest is you do a new file itself, so we'll go new presentation have to bear with me it's a bit slow today we'll go test we don't want this up here get rid of that and I'll just delete these because I don't want them either and we'll go file oh don't want different details file page setup you want to go down to custom, hang on, 
it halfway then we'll do a black, uh, portrait instead and then what I can do is I can just oops, undo. Copy and paste. So everything is now the same proportion. Uh, what I do actually have, as you can see up here, is a size guide. So this is a file specifically for making, say, boxes and things like that, the right size that I want. So say I wanted this, this box is one inch by one inch. Or you can have, say, if you want to make some happy planner or erin condren stickers and you know the size of the box you want you can make that uh, the this whole document that size make a box and then copy and paste it over so that box right there is one inch on that page so there's no uh, there's no worrying about oh is it the right size because you know it's the right size so i keep those uh, some of the other things I do, um, I've done some uh, bullet journal inspired pages that I've seen from uh, bullet journalers because I actually have one myself but I'm looking at possibly going into an A5 planner and making the pages instead of having to draw them out all the time. This one as you can see is a work in progress. <laughs> um, here's one here so it's got the right size box here for a Erin Condren, I think it's Erin Condren sized, where you can get the nice stickers with like little quotes and things in it, so that could be stuck on there. So the weather for each day, goals, here's a little reading bar down here. Let's see if I can't zoom in, because you probably can't see it very well. Just get rid of this down here as well. So as you can see, you can write down what book you're reading and then I've got the bars there, I think they're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they're about 10% each that you can mark off as you're reading it, colour it in. And you step count. Then we've got this one here with um, hourlies on it. And then this one here where you've got, you can write the um, day, uh, the month even. And then the days of the month goes in here. So it's really cool. You can do literally anything you want. It's quite fun. Um, I mean, here I've actually used the um, Excel version, which is Sheets, to do um, my little bunts for the year to make stickers. I made some stickers using that, and it was like nicely, equally spaced out. So this here is what I've done for boxes, box layouts. So we've got one here with just all um, lines down the side for notes. Clear that one off. Then we've got one here with a to-do, to buy, a little habit tracker down the side. One with remember and notes and then the meal plan at the bottom. A to-do, to go to buy. But everything's changed. The nice, uh, it's like a nice pinky colour with a different font. And there's this here as well. So it's all got lines in it if you prefer to have lines in it with personal, home, work, and a hydrate in each day so you can check them off. So that's already in there for you. Um, it's really simple to change. I've added some stuff up here. To, so you can adjust, so you just copy and paste it over, say I want to delete these off so I'll highlight that, oh, it's grouped so I want to ungroup it actually, these grouped, nope, so I'll delete that off and then I'll literally go up here, highlight it, copy, paste it on, and then just pull it over. Like so, so it's, it's really easy, and then I can just go up here, and just adjust it, so it's it's um, just a case of playing with it, have fun, you know, just 
and just see what you can do. So here are some stickers that I've got. As you can see, I've uh, made quite a lot. So, um, for example, if you want to make some stickers for, like I made an A5 box size, and the boxes won't fit standard stickers in, so I had to make my own. Um, I borrowed some images from Pinterest because it was for my own personal use. Sometimes that is frowned upon, just that. So I have the box at the front because I wanted an outline for where to cut out. So what I'll do is I'll send that to back for now just so I can show you and up here we've got reset image and crop image so if I reset the image you can see what it actually looks like and it doesn't fit the box properly so holding down the shift key to keep the proportions I'm gonna move this as you can see as soon as the as soon as it looks about right and I want to move it over a bit because I want it centered as possible that'll do and then I use this crop image and you see these little black lines, you pull them in. And that should do. So you see where the blue outline is, that's where the original image is. Oh, that doesn't look quite right. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So I think it's at 200%, so I just want to zoom in again. Like I said, it is a bit fiddly at times. Is right. No, it's really not, is it? Right. Let's find the over. There we go. And then I want to make that centre back so that I now have the box outline there. So that's how you do that. So this here is a A5 template, so that sheet is A5 size. Depending on how you want it printed out, you could do an A4 sheet and divide it in half. So you could do a sizer um, sheet, say A5 size, draw a box and copy and paste that over so you know exactly the exact size of the A5. Um, so you could do it that way. Um, I also have these little guides set up, that's for where your holes for your binder will go in if you have a rain planner so you don't want to put anything in this section so it's always handy to have um, also a little helpful hint is say you want three boxes what we'll do is just transparent that three boxes of equal size well width should I say there's three boxes so if I highlight them together and adjust them they'll all adjust together so they'll all be the same size so that's always always a handy tip to have 